trying to I'm trying to adjust the lighting because it's really bright outside but anyway good morning it is your girl it's so fashion week TV in the place to be April you know but hey it's 2024 and I have this camera in my hand yet again we'll see how long how long that goes for but anyway good morning let's go in the kitchen hey guys hey so I am drinking water this morning not much has changed around here I'm still working from home um, it is 8 14 in the a.m. I'm starting work today at 9 guys I am starting a new position at my current employer on Monday. So I figured I would come on here. This is kind of like a, like a milestone day in my life or yeah, a little milestone time in my life. And I figured why not talk about it? Come on here and talk about it. So I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video. A long while, a lot has transpired within that time. And um, I don't want to, you know, throw throw that up on this video. Like, I don't want to, um, to dump on this video. But over time, um, if I continue to, um, if I continue to record these videos, then we'll talk about it. I'm starting my morning off um, with taking my, my vitamins because I had fallen off the wagon with that. And, um, you know. It's just time to do the right thing. So I am starting my day with, um, this is a one daily multivitamin for energy. It's a women's multivitamin. It's by GNC, if you can see that. And then I'm also starting my day with a prebiotic, pre-probiotics. I'm going to be taking water away. And the water away is just to help with like water retention or whatever. I don't know if that I suffer with that, but it's for diet and weight. It's just kind of help to help with weight maintenance. Um, and this is an all natural um, water pill, so I just take it. Then I also like to take either my colon cleanse or my colon balance or an herbal laxative just to kind of keep things moving along. Um, I typically do the laxative one, but um, I'm running low on those. So I think today I'm going to be doing the um, colon balance and I take three of these so for those of you who don't know or who are new to this channel I work in healthcare so um, I've worked in service operations since the start of my career and yeah I've been doing that for yeah the better part of 25 years crazy right you know IT um, the world of IT has become very diverse. It's a dynamic industry. You can get your feet wet in the industry at an early age. You can really, really set yourself up for a good life. I am coming into it very late in the game. I've always been, you know, very technical. I um, wore technical hats in my position. Um, but this is the first time that I am, I have an official IT role within the company. So I worked in a technical department uh, for the past, I wanna say six or so year, which is a technical team uh, within claims operations. I didn't hold a technical uh, position. So I've been a, um, a business analyst for nine years um, in the technical department. Um, that Alrighty guys, so I just got the phone call from the developer that I can go ahead and try to log into the system to see that if everything is good to go. So let me just go and log in. guys hey it is Monday today is Monday January 6th and it's the first day it is the first day in my new position isn't that isn't that wonderful isn't that wonderful and because it's a work at home position 
I'm in my buffalo plaid pajamas. Isn't that wonderful? So, yes, guys, today is my first day in the new position. I did jump on over the weekend on Saturday. I thought I was actually going to be um, working over Saturday and Sunday, but the Pega platform upgrade that I was telling you guys about um, actually was successfully um, moved into production on Saturday. So I was able to do all of my production checkout on Saturday, all of that went well, and I was able to have a free Sunday um, to myself without having to work. So, whoop de do. Um, so yeah, today I signed in at 8 a.m. and that's going to be that's going to be my hours. I'm I'm thinking that my hours are going to be 8 to 4:30. Um, I wanted to go into this new position with. Um, a new schedule so previously I would work 9 to 5 30 9 to 6 or whenever I stopped working but I want to make a conscious effort this year um, to log in earlier um, 8 o'clock 8 o'clock being the latest time that I log in so if I can log in around 7 30 that's good I am going to be meeting with my new manager at 10 um, it's currently 8 14 so i have a welcome meeting with my manager at 10 o'clock so we'll discuss like the logistics of like the role um the projects that i'll be working on um to start like to kick things off and then um i'm, I'm assuming we'll confirm like the time that i'll be working and like kind of like who i'll be working with that i'll be like shadowing things like that um but i've actually worked with my now manager on a lot of different projects over the years i was a, a user acceptance tester um, any of the projects that i worked on that i was the lead so if there was something that i wanted to change um, we have something called the change control board um, you basically have to document the changes that you want to make you have to um, get a pricing estimate it has to get approved and then you get assigned a business systems analyst who's going to basically develop those requirements and carry it through to production so um, she was that person uh, for me on uh, many different projects and updates that I had to do system updates things like that so so yeah um, I'm getting distracted hey guys hey guys hey <laughs> hi hello you're probably gonna hear barking in like two seconds flat, but hey guys, hey. Um, it is a new day. Um, several days later, I decided to pick up the camera. It is um, Tuesday. Tuesday after MLK Day. Um, I hope you guys had a wonderful day off. If you, know, you had the day off uh, from your job, I had a a productive day yesterday I went to the mall and got a pedicure I also went and got my um, Zeman refilled in my forehead for my forehead lines what else did I do I what else did I do I went to the mall but I didn't like pop into any stores or anything so um, you know, the new year really doesn't start for me. I say this time and time again, like my new year really, really doesn't start until February 1st. So right now I'm just trying to build, um, build my routines. Um, and I hate to say routines because I know that is a like, kind of like a trending topic. Everyone wants to have a routine and I really don't want to say a regimen or routine, but I just want to build like some consistent, healthy habits. Um, you know in this season of my life um, it's not just about it being the new year but in this season of my life I would like to build some build some healthy consistent habits in years to come I know that the consistency um, that I try to adopt into my life right now it'll pay off later on so um, right now the routines that I'm trying to adopt are things that will definitely yield a return down the line so just as an example 
saving, you know, adopting a consistent savings habit um, because I know years down the road, I will benefit uh, from having a nest egg, you know. So those are the types of things that I want to do. Um, just focus more on saving, spending less and, you know, um, practicing self-discipline and self-control. Um, I said this in a couple of clips back and I don't know if it'll all be in this one video or if it'll, it'll be split up into separate videos, but I did say this um, a few clips back that, you know, when I was coming up in school, I remember um, reading my report card and there was like under every, under every um, subject or area, there were like these little check, uh, these little boxes. Um, where the teachers could check off things they can put checks next to things if where you needed improvement like so it's kind of like a subsection where they can actually go in and put things that you needed to improve on and under behavior um, I always noticed that it said that I lacked self-control and I never really knew what that meant um, you know growing up of course I was, I was a kid but it's something that has stuck with me. Um, I always remembered seeing that little X next to lack self-control and it didn't matter who the teacher was. I would always get like a C, C in behavior, a C or a D or worse in behavior. And that was always one of the things that was checked off under my behavior so you know over the years you know when I reflect on my life and the things that I've struggled with food addiction obesity all of those things center around your ability to be disciplined and have some sort of control and I've always lacked that in my life um, and I've never maintained it on on any level I've never had any consistency around that so um, yeah i want to dive deep so the my my word for the year um or my mantra for the year is self-control and really diving deep and figuring out um why it is that i've lacked that all my life and how i can i can get it back so just really trying to um to dig deep in that area of my life and um working on ways to resolve for it you know it's never too late so you know even at 46 i'm just very much interested um in getting to the root of the matter and fixing it once and for all you know so yeah that's where i am right now and the other thing i did today um is I got in from Amazon Gracie's pool. So I told you guys that Gracie is expecting puppies. And the puppies will be here in nine days. So we're getting ready for that. So I set up her whelping box, um, which I used um, just like a kitty pool. I didn't go with the round version. I went with a square version kitty pool. And I set that up for her. I put her, uh, her bed in there. I put some waterproof baby pads, waterproof blankets. My sister, shut up. My sister sent, uh, sent a heating pad that I'm going to use for the puppies. I'm just going to put it on its lowest setting. And um, just so that the puppies can stay warm and all of that. So I'll get around to showing you guys the whelping box and how I have it set up. Um... The only other thing I'd like to purchase for her um, is, um, what do you call it? A wipes warmer because the puppies need to be stimulated because, you know, they won't know how to use the bathroom and things like that. So you have to kind of stimulate them and you do that with baby wipes. So I'll insert a video. I'll get a clip from TikTok or somewhere and show you what. The stimulation process looks like for the puppies and i'll try to document as much as i absolutely can um on this journey with gracie having her puppies and all of that i mean it's really really exciting um nerve-wracking 
scary, all the things, but I'm looking forward to it. So, hey, cut, cut it out. And this is the father, the one that's always barking and doing bad stuff. I hope none of these babies act like you. None of them. I'm really, really super relaxed right now, feeling great. Um, so I think I'm just going to bask in that for a little bit. And then I'll come back and I'll show you guys um, what I've been up to as far as um, trying to adopt some habits. They're not going to be, listen, like I said, my new year really doesn't start. So I just want to get in practice of being able to, when I feel compelled to write things down, um, that I do it. So when we say uh, a habit, you know, I don't think that it's something that I need to do every single day. It's just that when I feel compelled to do it, um, that I'm disciplined enough to sit down and actually do it. So I may not, it may not be something that I do every single day. Uh, but when I have a compelling reason to do so that I actually, I actually do it. So I probably am going to um, do some journaling um, this evening only because I did take some days off and I think it's good to kind of empty yourself out um, to make room for new things so that your brain is not just so crowded with a bunch of stuff. later oh. cheers this is this here from Trader Joe's it is a trending topic on the socials but I did get this last year so this is a triple ginger brew sparkling beverage it's like um a bougie ah. ginger ale. It's like a bougie ginger ale. Sorry for the slurping, but your girl is thirsty. I just got back from Best Buy. Oops. I gotta figure this whole thing out with this camera, positioning, lighting, all that stuff. iMac and um, MacBook Pro and they're old operating systems and I tried to like upgrade them but they won't even update at this point and it doesn't it doesn't work with like half of the newer software applications so I had to make a decision and my decision was to you know, either buy a non-Apple product or upgrade. So I decided to go ahead and just upgrade and I got a MacBook Air, which I think is the thinner one. So I'm about to open it up and I'll come. Ah! Look at her, she's so mean there. 
you know, I love the battery life on this, um, on my Canon. The battery life is good. I actually only have one battery for this camera. And because my, the clips aren't very long, I don't record lengthy clips. So I, I think the last time I charged this was uh, over the weekend, Saturday. Last Saturday, actually. So that's pretty good. It was very latest and greatest. Oh yeah. I love it. It's so beautiful and thin. Look at that. Oh, so nice and thin. So look at that, guys. So nice. I love the color black. So yeah, I'm really loving that. Um, I am having a little late night snack. Um, trying to be intentional with my, you know, with my snacking and such. So, I am having this No-No's, I believe. And this is milk and honey. Thank you. I got this.